The following video is a recap of Roselia Community Day. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Today, we do Roselia Community Day. And for the first time, I hope to catch as many shiny Roselia as I can get. Stay tuned to see the end of this video on how many shiny Roselia I get during this community day alone. Now, the tasks for the Roselia community day special research, which of course the first set of tasks had me Powering up a Pokemon 10 times, catch 15 Roselia, and make 5 nice throws, while the second set had me catch 15 Roselia, transfer 10 Pokemon, and use 15 Pineapple Berries. The third set of tasks had me make 3 great curveball throws, evolve 1 Roselia, and transfer 10 Pokemon, and of course, the final set you automatically get and of course that wraps up the rewards I get for completing the special research as for the timed research I had to power up a Pokemon five times catch five Roselia and make five nice throws and of course as for my shiny count I caught a lot it took a while but I was finally able to get my first shiny Roselia ever and you will see at the end of this video how well I did on this community day. Well, 
This was a great community day. My final shiny count, 22. Yes, 22 shiny Rosalia. And of course, it couldn't have been amazing the moment I spotted my first one ever. And of course, four of them will be eventually heading into my copy of Pokemon Sword. So I can add to my shiny collection in that game as well. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next episode as it will focus on the Kanto Tour. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, when heading out, always wear a mask. Practice social distancing. Stay six feet apart. Stay away from large crowds. And of course, if you're eligible currently, get out there and get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe and stay healthy. And together, we will get through these dark times together.